Phase 2B is the third and last section of the construction to dual carriageway standard of the Ventuko Seakutako International Airport Road. This phase starts at the Dordabas interchange and continues towards the airport covering a distance of 21,3 kilometers. For this specific project, the appointment of the Chinese contractor company was a requirement in the agreement between the two governments. However, we need to emphasize that all the construction material will have to be purchased here in Namibia and thus is also a benefit. This project will also have ample opportunities and this is very important big project but it will have opportunities for supplying and subcontracting subcontracting of specialized works for the local small and medium enterprises Speaking at the groundbreaking ceremony, Mutorwa said local subcontractors on the project will be exposed to technological advancements through skill transfer, which may result in positive economic growth for the nation as a whole. Charge de Affair at the Chinese Embassy, Yang Yun says the road project is just one of the many China aided projects ongoing in Namibia. In the past few years, over 20 China-aided projects have been completed or remain ongoing, which cover the areas of transport, agriculture, education, ecology, border control, public park governance, housing, health care, meteorological surveillance, disaster relief, poverty alleviation, etc. Despite the huge investment from China, Mutorwa says Namibia still demands high standards from those who are building the road. I'm sure the contractors and the consultants, you are professionals. The quality of the product, which is the project, must match the money that is invested in the project. The new road is expected to increase the mobility of tourists, reducing incidences of head-on collisions. The project, which will be completed by 2025, is expected to create 270 local jobs.